I'm Richard Stevenson. I'm the Chief Executive of Unimedia. And it's January, and we've got some new features in our iPad application that I want to take you through. Let's open up this particular application, which is Hair Ideas. Let's look at the latest edition. And what we now see on this edition, if I click on it, or just tap on it, now we have a new feature at the top right side, which is Search. Now, search is very important for uh, catalogues or even normal magazines for finding items. What we've done here, if we look at it, the search opens up and if I start to type the word Emma, we now have it working in a predictive way of finding the nearest match as I continue to type. So um, I've got a number of options here, but just in case I'm not sure whether that's the right one, I can click on that and it brings up the background page without losing this information. I can clearly see that's not the right page I wish to go to, so I can click on that one. That is the right page, I click on that. But if I want to go back, having read that page and find another one of the search items, it's remembered where I've gone beforehand. So I can click on that and maybe that is the right page. So if I click on that, it gets rid of the box but you'll notice that there's a yellow box now which is highlighting the word Emma, which means be able to find on the page. So it's very intuitive. Uh, we believe, although that we put instructions in the help files, that this method will be easy for people to understand and it's a very powerful option, particularly if you've got catalogues or any sort of editorial where you want to find information. Second feature is the ability to communicate to others. Now, one of the issues with the iPad is that not everybody has an iPad. So what we've decided to do is to be able to share a page. So if I'm looking at this particular page, if I click on this icon at the bottom of the toolbar, what this has now done is taken the page I'm looking at, dropped it into the email, given me the link to this particular edition, and dropped in the text that a publisher wishes to say, give you as a standard text. The user can change this but then they can actually click on that to add in their email address to who they're sending it to um, and send it. Now, the advantage of that is, is that you can then, with email, communicate to anybody anything you see on the page. Um, online shopping, something like 60-70% of decisions online are made on the basis of a referral or an agreement with a family friend. So the ability for someone to find something here and send it to their mother or their, their daughter and say, should I buy this, is very powerful. It will enable people to shop more confidently. Second thing is editorials. There will be articles people will be reading which will be of interest to their friends, and it's very easy for them to send this by email. So we believe that the sharing of a page is a powerful feature which we've now built into the system. And the third feature that's included in this release is one called bookmarking, which is automatic. Now, this is a response to some of the feedback we had to say that uh, it would be nice if every time I left the edition, I always went back to where I left off. That's important for larger catalogues to say, that's the page I left. So it automatically takes you back to that page. So if I leave this particular edition, I go back to my home page. I then click on the item to open again. It takes me back to where I left off. So those are three features which we're launching in January. I've been talking about a continuous program of features that are coming through, and we intend to do more features in February and, uh, and March and there beyond. Um, you're sitting here in one of Udi's offices with a team behind. Everybody's very excited about what 2011 is going to bring. So I'm sure you'll see that these features will enhance the experience for the user.